All right, guys, welcome back to another video today on the Ghost Flash channel. I'm Easy X and C. I am in uh, work clothes, which means we are getting down to business today. So, in today's video, we're going to be working on the Genesis Coupe. We're going to be replacing this Mishimoto Inner Cooler. Don't get me wrong, Mishimoto is a great company. I was sponsored by them, or I am, but it's time to upgrade to something bigger. So, as you guys can see, I'll show you guys a close up the differences between the Mishimoto and this Inner Cooler. I forget what brand this is. I want to say Gretti, but I don't remember, but don't call me on that. But it is what it is. I'm also going to try to take off the Carb Legal Mishimoto sticker off this Inner Cooler and put on this one that way it's still carb legal you know ways around things come on get a thing we got the carb legal thing right here you feel me but yeah so we're gonna be doing the intercooler today on the genesis coupe as well as i might try to tackle some wiring with the car see if i can fix the gas pedal without having to replace it and my brake lights i'm just gonna go further into the vehicle and try to figure out more things i can fix on the vehicle today as well as the intercooler and if we have time might install the uh brembos today as well but today's main focus is gonna be the intercooler as well as austin is here today we're gonna be doing a roof rack or truck rack on his truck. I don't know what we going to call it. Roof rack, truck rack, bed rack. I don't know what to call it, but you see the rack's already on the vehicle right now. It's not bolted on. It's just sitting on there strapped down. Got it for free. So we're going to be installing that today. We're going to be painting it, sanding it, primer, all that good stuff, installing it. So we're going to do it in that after he's finished taking a crap. As you guys can see, the Civic, that was in the beginning of this video. That's John, the Civic on leader. He just left. We did the oil train on his car today. That was about it. Damon's going to be on his way as well. He was just here, but he's going to head back home. He had to go pick up something. He's going to be heading back and he's going to be helping us out today with the painting on the rack as well as the big brake on the Genesis coupe and i'm just gonna go ahead and start installing the intercooler myself while i'm here i'm gonna see if i can get it to fit with the stock or not stock with the mission motor intercooler piping and if i have to make brackets i'll make brackets i have a bunch of stuff that i can make brackets with if i need to go and make brackets as well i might see if i can tighten the engine bay a little bit today with uh, the new hoses and stuff like that so yeah today's just gonna be a car field day with all the homies so as you guys can see, this is the Mishima intercooler. It is fairly small. I mean, it's a great intercooler. It comes with two and a half inch piping, a nice uh, intercooler. Let me see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten row. It's a 10 row intercooler. This one, as you guys can see, is double the size. I think it's a 20 row. I don't quote me on that. I don't remember. I don't really feel like paying that many because I'm kind of stupid. But just, I mean, you guys can definitely see the difference in size and it's really heavy. So yeah, this is gonna be a way better intercooler for the bigger turbo setup. Like this intercooler is more of an OEM upgrade for the OEM turbo, but with the bigger turbo, obviously you're gonna run a bigger intercooler. The piping should still be fine. So we're gonna go ahead and just do the new intercooler today. Hopefully that works out. Now I'm gonna try to tackle the wiring so if I can get the car be able to drive again. Cause once I can get it driving, I can go ahead and go get this car taken to the shop to get a new intercooler, not intercooler, new downpipe fabricated and my hood dump set up. Look at that big choo-choo spoolie boy just chilling on in there. I also gotta get a cover for that. I figure out a way to get a filter or something because that's not gonna cut it anymore because I'm scared to get something stuck in the turbo. As you can see, no downpipe. So yeah, that's gotta get done at some point. So I'm gonna see if that hosing that I showed you guys in the last video will, will fit. If not, we'll make something, we'll just figure something out. So I'm gonna try some of these hoses today. Bro, this intercooler is so cute compared to this one. Look at the size difference. Here comes the new Daggy. Damn, straight out of Japan, bro. Sheesh. Sheesh. I like the white. We got too many white cars over here now. Oh, the red door seals. The red kind of goes hard though. Now it's time to replace this ugly black hose that came on my oil catch with the new purple Max Blow hoses. So we got the new um, oil. What's it called? Oil catch can lines. Nice little clear purple. We got the, what is this? Overflow hose. Got the boost controller mounted. 
still a slow ass Got the steel braided uh, boost line about to go on right now. So Got the I shadow demon right here. I think it's so bad. cool with his newly painted freaking white Honda Civic. Don't I mean, bad. Acura Integra. It's fucking Acura Civic. His Acura Civic. Slow ass car. We got the four wheel drive manual, five speed Nissan SR20, what, uh, big turbo. Means. What? He said four wheel drive manual, five speed. I, I, and then I said SR20, big turbo, KA. I'm just saying. He oh, think he fast because he two step. <laughs> I don't think I'm fast because I two step. My car's slow. Man. For anybody that want to line it up, I'm down. All right. Hey, 100 bucks per race against this little Civic over here, guys. But yeah, so we're gonna put the steel braided line right here, top the turbo. To the boost solenoid up there and then i gotta figure out i gotta order more of this to do all the other boost line because i'm done with the rubber all right guys so it is the next day i'm just gonna go over everything that we did in this or i did in this video so as you guys can see or i don't know if you guys can see but the new intercooler is installed literally twice the size of the mishimoto intercooler i believe that's the gretty one and then i have the mishimoto one that i took out and then i got the max speeding rods one also so um so this is my oil catch can and you guys can see this is i had to do new hoses i didn't have to i just chose to because I got these hoses sponsored so and obviously you know purple we got to do a purple theme so yeah and i was kind of over the old hoses they're like a clear blue and they were really disgusting and so i just wanted to revamp we also got the new coolant hose right down here i'm probably gonna be purchasing a new coolant reservoir probably a purple one because the blue obviously doesn't match same with the radiator hose because i have blue one and i got a stock one down here so i gotta get rid of that stock one and get the purple one get a purple one to switch this one out so also i did a steel braided boost hose so this is the boost hose that goes at the top of the turbo or front turbo we want to call it kind of sick and tired of using the rubber one because i was afraid of it melting because there was a i did have two other ones on before that did melt but the other one did not melt but i was also scared to just keep running it so i went ahead and changed that out with a steel braided one so it looks pretty nice temporarily put my stubby up pipe from the wastegate on because the unicorn one is kind of getting old and i kind of looked retarded in my eyes it looked cool at first and then after a while i'm just like it looks kind of dumb also got the boost gauge installed over here this is a manual boost controller and as you guys can see i made a custom bracket oh don't mind the oil i pulled out the dipstick the other day <laughs> and i dripped oil all over and i forgot to clean it but anyways yeah so this is actually an oil catch can that I got out of a CTSV that I custom fit to fit my vehicle and also made my own custom brackets right here to mount to the chassis. Also made a custom bracket for the boost controller to be able to mount so it's nice and sturdy right there on top. But yeah, if you guys liked and enjoyed today's video and all the stuff I did to the Genesis Coupe, if you guys want to see more, drop a like and a comment and definitely subscribe because there's going to be a lot more parts going on the vehicle so yeah um like i said like comment subscribe because genesis got way more parts coming in let's get to 2000 subscribers by the end of march maybe possibly so if you guys enjoyed today's video on the genesis coupe we want to see more installation videos on the genesis coupe like comment subscribe catch you guys in the next video peace